I will come to the limited design of steel structures plus uh, the limited design of steel structure has been introduced in our Indian code in 2007. Before that we used to design the steel structure by the use of working stress method and from 2007 onwards uh, the codal provision has been changed and in 2007 the IS 800-2007 has been published where the entire code has been discussed on the basis of limited design method. Now coming to this course uh, actually this uh, today I will discuss about the probable content of the course which I am going to cover in uh, next 60 lectures and uh, uh, what are the books you can follow that I will inform and what are the code required for uh, learning this course all also will be told today and also I will show you some uh, steel roll section what are their properties how the parameters are varying and means what, how the parameters are considered which parameters are considered uh, which are given in the uh, IS handbook that is SP6 uh, that also I will just give a touch on that right. Now coming to the limited design of steel structure one thing we can say that nowadays in every city or every country uh, whenever you see some skyscraper these are mostly built with the steel. Steel has lot of advantages which I will come later uh, and because of its advantageous uh, properties, uh, uh, we the designers uh, prefer for um, designing the structure with the steel and steel structures are mean steels are massively used particularly in uh, bridge structures and also in transmission tower, refinery oil structure, in uh, sometimes some water tank also are made of steel structure, some high rise buildings. Uh, many industrial buildings, uh, sheds, all are made of steel structures. And steel, you know that uh, it is um, much stronger than compared to uh, the conventional construction material like concrete. Uh, compared to its high, I mean, strength to weight ratio is very uh, high. I means its weight is very less and strength is very high. It is much ductile compared to concrete. And because of its advantages for I means properties, uh, designer prefers steel structure though it is costly. So if we design properly in a cost effective way, the cost can be minimized without compromising the safety. Uh, therefore, we need to know the design procedure properly and maybe later uh, by knowing the design procedure we can make a um, computer code. Uh, we can generate some computer algorithm uh, by the use of MATLAB or any other uh, standard language like C language, C++, Java or we can use Excel sheet also. Uh, then in steel design you will see uh, when we are going to design we have to iterate. We need to iterate uh, the design process means we will assume certain uh, member with certain dimensions and we will check certain checks uh, from limit state point of view, from ultimate strength point of view, from serviceability criteria point of view, we will check certain steps and if we see the checks are not satisfying then we have to increase the size and if we see it is satisfied then we can go for this particular section. But what happens uh, that uh, while we go for iteration in case of limited design there are lot of uh, procedures means procedural calculations are there. So, it is very difficult to do by hand manual calculation. So, if you can develop a um, computer algorithm or if you can develop an excel sheet then just by putting the value you can check whether it is ok or not. And in some cases we have seen that when designer is seeing that uh, the assumed section is ok then they are simply going with that section but that is not economic because maybe with some lesser section the same uh, mean uh, with same loading it may be safe. So, we must go for the lesser section. So, sometimes designer does not want because uh, lot of calculations uh, have to be done it is a tedious process. So, I will suggest you 
that if you know the design algorithm, if you understand the design process of a particular member, then you make a customized program at your own requirement and then go for the um, this program for design of the section. And in that way, you can make the design optimized, economic and cost effective. Now, coming to the uh, anatomy of the structure, we will see that a, any steel structures are having uh, this type of uh, uh, members like one is beam. Beam is basically um, a flexural member where the uh, flexural actions come into picture. So, we need to know the design of a flexural member of the beam, then it will come the column. Column also uh, takes uh, column takes basically the compressive load. Uh, along with that, certain certain eccentric load also it takes care. So um, sometimes moment also come into picture. Uh, that column has to be designed accordingly. So we'll go through that column. Floor ca basically carries the load, and that load is transferred to the beam and column. Uh, then bracing system is an important system in case of. Uh, uh, steel structure because you see here if we see these are the bracings, uh, bracings has been provided just to uh, increase the load carrying capacity in terms of horizontal load. When horizontal load is more then we can provide certain bracing in certain places so that uh, the system became, uh, became stronger. Now all the superstructure load are going to the foundation so we need to know the foundation design also. So, there in, case in foundation we will see the slab base, gusset base, base plate and how the load from the superstructure has been transferred to the uh, substructure by the use of base plate and uh, other members that we will see. And another important part which we do not generally come across in case of RC structure that is connection. Uh, this connection is important in the sense we know the rolled steel sections are available or some other type of sections also can be made available in terms of built up section etcetera, but uh, it need to be joined properly. So, join means basically joining of uh, beam and column, beam and column when you are going to join, you have to join either by the use of bolt, rivet or weld connection. So, uh, in in fact, when I will be going to teach this subject, so first I will discuss about the connection because if we know connection then we can go the further things. And in uh, design means in steel design as a whole, uh, connection plays a very important role. We do not give much importance to the connection though, but uh, we have to make detailing means I, I would go mean I would recommend that when we are going to do design a entire system, we have to specially look for the connections and we have to design connections properly so that load is transferred from one system to another system, one member to another member properly. Uh, sometimes moment also has to be transferred, sometimes only axial force. So, uh, on the basis of the requirement, we have to uh, decide what type of connections we will be going for. So, syllabus which I am going to cover, uh, I am briefly discussing, but this is a tentative because I do not know how much time I will get to finish. Uh, so, uh, first module will be um, including the introduction and which will discuss about the steel uh, member, means steel material as a structural material and we will discuss its advantages and disadvantages of the steel because unless we know the disadvantages of steel, we will not make uh, use properly. So, we must know the advantages and disadvantages and accordingly we should try to use that. Then we will go for different type of sections, IS rolled sections which are available in the market, those and their properties are given in the code that we will see. Then we will go for some material overview means how the um, steel behaves with uh, increase of load means how stress strain varies in case of steel 
and how the chemical properties uh, dip, mean how chemical properties uh, uh, means uh, how the mechanical properties are dependent on chemical properties of the steel that uh, we will discuss. Then basis for structural design will be discussed mean what type of structural design we are going for uh, in this course that we will discuss that is the limited method and what are the basis of design of and that structural um, philosophy that will be discussed and of course, loading and load combination different type of loads come into picture those will be discussed briefly and uh, their combinations. Then we will come to the module 2 which is comprising of connections. So, different type of connections we will discuss and in that connection we will discuss about the bolted connections, its advantages and disadvantages. Uh, then design of bolted connections, its efficiency and design of joints, then welded connections, advantages and disadvantages of welded joints, design of weld connections, fillet weld, butt or group weld, plug and slot weld. So, these are the topics, uh, probable topics I am going to cover. Then in next module we will discuss about the eccentric connections because sometimes connections uh, become eccentric in terms of its loading. So, um, different type of eccentric connections are uh, observed. So, we will discuss about that then bolt and welded connection uh, with load lying in plane of joint and load lying perpendicular to the plane of joint. Different type means two type of eccentric connections are observed one is load lying in plane of joint and load lying perpendicular to the plane of joint. Then we will discuss about the design of eccentric connection using bolts and welds. That means, uh, sometimes we will use bolt and we will see how the design procedure is, uh, is proposed and also same thing for oil connections. And in module 4 we will discuss about the design of tension members. In tension member we will first come into different type of failures mean in case of tension member what are the failures occurs that we will see. Then we will find out the gross and net sectional area, then rupture of critical section, then strength calculation, block shear failure, uh, then slenderness ratio of the member and then we will come to design of tension member considering all this. And then gusset plates, lag angles, tension splices. Uh, design of tension member subjected to axial and bending those things will be discussed. So, tension member will cover means in this module we will cover these aspects. In module 5 we will discuss about the compression member. In compression member First, we will see what are the type of failure occurs in case of compression member and accordingly the uh, strength calculation we will discuss and then slenderness ratio of the compression member how to calculate we will find out and then design of the compression member and then design of eccentrically loaded compression member that means when moment also will come into picture then how to design the compression member that will be discussed then built up compression member means sometimes uh, the rolled steel section is not sufficient for uh, withstanding the huge amount of load. So, in that case we will go for built up compression member and that is design procedure also will be discussed for the built up compression member. Then for built up compression member we need to add the lacing system. So, design of lacing system and design of batten plates will also be discussed in this module. And in module 6, we will discuss about the flexural member which is called basically beam. So, we will give uh, some introduction to flexural member and then design procedure of beam uh, and beam will be basically two types. One is uh, design of laterally supported beam and laterally unsupported beam. So, both the um, cases design uh, procedure will be discussed considering laterally supported and laterally unsupported beam and also we will be discuss about the built up beams and uh, design of purlins also will be introduced in this module. Then we will come to column base, column base will be discussed basically base slab 
and um, and this gasseted base. So, slab base and gasseted base which are um, which are the element through uh, which the superstructure load will be coming to the soil through the substructure. So, uh, design of the gasseted base and slab base along with base plate will be discussed here. And if we get time then we will discuss about the gantry girder because in steel structure gantry girder uh, is an important um, component uh, which we need to know and design uh, and the codal aspects are available means on design criteria of gantry girder. So, in last module we will discuss about the design aspects of gantry girder various type of loads will be there. So, what are the loads coming into gantry girder and how to design the gantry girder will be discussed. Now, I would suggest to follow along with my lecture these two books, these books are very well written. Uh, one book is design of steel structure written by Dr. Subramaniam Narayan who was directly involved with the development of IS 800-2007 code. So, he has written this book which is uh, very exhaustively written and well means well documented and another book also you can follow that is written by S. K. Duggal. It is Tata McGraw-Hill publication, Limited Design of Steel Structure and the uh, first book was published by Oxford publication. So, um, other than these two books you can follow some other books also if you want, uh, but I have seen many books are available in which uh, design calculations are not given properly, but in these two books we will means uh, you can follow and we can get uh, properly the design calculation and procedures and very um, well documented in a simplified manner it is written. So, you can follow this. You can go for some reference also uh, like design of steel structure by Elias Abu Saba. Uh, this is CBS publication. This also you can use as a reference book. Then design of steel structure by E. H. Gallier uh, et al by McGraw Hill and structural steel work by S. S. Ray. Blackwell science. So, uh, as a reference book you can follow, however I will suggest you to at least follow one textbook which has been suggested earlier in earlier slide that is either uh, Dr. Subramaniam's book or S. K. Duggar's book. Now, these codes are required while um, we will learn the design of steel structure. First is that uh, earlier code was IS 800-1984 which was based on working stress method. Now, the codal provision has been changed and uh, in IS 800-2007 the code of practice for general construction in steel has been given in which the limited design method has been um, followed. Uh, so, uh, when you follow my lecture I will suggest you to uh, sit with the this code because lot of choral provisions are there which has to be followed and while listening my lecture uh, if you follow the codes and if you open the code also at the same time it will be easier to understand uh, the lectures and it is easier to under means follow the code also. And uh, uh, we have a handbook that is SP 6 1 1964 handbook for structural engineers where the uh, Indian steel rule section properties are given. Uh, all the standard uh, rule section properties like ISMB means I section, channel section, T section, angle sections. Uh, so, all the rule sections properties are given in that IS uh, handbook. So, we should follow that also. And also, we can follow this IS 80 1989, where uh, certain properties are given, certain properties of uh, steel rule section and also you can use steel table of any standard publication where the properties are given right. Other than that uh, I would suggest you to um, follow this code of practice for design loads other than earthquake for building and structure that is IS 875 part 1 to part 4. 
I will come, uh, come with this code in details later and also IRC code for vehicle load in bridge structures may be useful. Apart from this for seismic um, consideration IS1893-2002 also will be uh, you can use. Now coming to roll steel section, uh, I have told that different type of roll sections are available in the market and their properties are given in uh, IS handbook in SP6. So, like uh, here I have shown that Indian standard junior beam which is termed as JB also, uh, sorry. So, Indian standard junior beam IS JB, uh, Indian standard light beam IS LB or LB and Indian standard medium weight beam that is available. Indian standard white flange beam. So, different type of I sections are available in the code. Indian standard heavy weight beam ISHB, Indian standard column section SC like this you will get. Right. Now, say I section what I was discussed that uh, I was discussing that ISMB, ISLV, ISJB. So, in all this beam section or I section, uh, this looks like this. If you see, it is uh, we have a slope here and we have a curve here. Uh, so, that the stress concentration does not develop here and also here also you have a curve. Now, uh, the overall depth of I section is called D. In the SP6, the properties of I sections are given. In terms of say suppose if you say IES MB uh, 250, that means it will refer to a particular I section of medium beam um, IES MB. The 250 means the overall depth of the section will be 250. Right. So, this D will be 250 overall depth. Now, if this 250 depth of beam is uh, there, I mean if you select then automatically you will find what will be the width of the flange. This portion is called flange and uh, this width of flange is called B and sometimes we call BF also, B or BF and this is the portion of wave and this wave thickness is called T or TW, TW we used to call. Now, what will be the thickness of flange? Thickness of flange vary from here to here if you see here thickness of flange is much higher than this place. So, thickness of flange is measured at B minus T by 4 distance that means this is total B, this is T. So, B minus T by 2 is this distance and middle of that is the B minus T by 4, T is the TW thickness of wave. So, at that position we find the thickness of the flange either capital T we mention as capital T or TF also we call TF also. So, if you see in the SP6 the properties of I section then you can find out uh, suppose if it is ISMB 250, then its depth is 250, its weight, its cross sectional area and the geometrical properties everything is mentioned there. Not only the geometrical properties, but also the say suppose IXX, IYY that means moment, moment of inertia about XX, about YY and um, then we can find out RXX means uh, radius of gyration about x, x direction about y direction. So, all the details then z uh, section modulus uh, z e z p those things also you will find out. Then what will be the gauge distance uh, between these two means where the bolt uh, bolt or rivet will be placed. So, that gauge distance also are standard for particular section. So, all the relevant properties you can find out from that code. right?
So, this is another section which is you called a channel section. This channel section are mainly used for uh, column these channel sections are used. So, Indian standard junior channel ISJC similarly, ISLC Indian standard light channel Indian standard medium weight channel ISMC like this channel sections are available in the code also. So, here also ISMC 400 means the depth D will be 400, ISMC 400 means the depth will be overall depth will be 400. So, once depth 400 other properties are uh, given in the SP6. So, this is the BF, this, this is called BF width of the flange BF and this is TF or T that is B minus T by 2 at B minus T by 2 that is defined and T is basically TW thickness of wave. Then what will be the radius of curvature here means R1 and this is R2 that also are standard that is given. Then Cxx, Cyy that also Cxs means e, this is Cyy, this is Cyy and uh, uh, this is Cyy and, uh, and this is fifth means uh, D by 2 right and so these are the properties uh, plane slope alpha will be this so these are the standard properties which are given in the code and it looks something like this and in the um, code means actually in place of xx it is written zz means izz rzz and this is yy this is how uh, it has been considered This is angle section, angle sections are of two type, one is uh, Indian standard equal angle and another is Indian standard unequal angle. Equal angle means its leg is leg length will be same, here Indian standard equal angle, the both the leg length will be same, but if it is unequal then uh, it is unequal angle. So, uh, standard writing is say ISA. 90 by 90 by 6 that means the length of the leg is 90 in this way also it is 90 and thickness of the leg is 6 mm. And of course, uh, also we can find out all other properties um, of the angle section. Which is shown here. So, if you see uh, in the codal provisions angle sections are given like uh, this is root radius R1, this is tau radius R2, these are also standard and uh, Cxx, Cyy uh, that means uh, center of gravity in x and y then um, what will be the Ixx, Iyy, Iuu means in major axis, minor axis, Ibb. So, Rxx, Ryy, Rbb, Ruu, all these properties are given, which will be required for calculation of different stresses on the section. So, for designing of the uh, member using angle section, we need different properties, geometrical properties, which are available in the SP6. This is another section which is called T section, Indian standard normal T section and uh, uh, here also in case of T section the tot H is the depth and uh, other details I am not going in details uh, you can find out in the code. This is another section which is called Indian standard round section. ISRO is called and Indian center square section this is square bar. Uh, so, this type of bars are also available and which can be used 
for design of different type of members. Then uh, suppose ISRO 100 in role section if you see ISRO 100 that means it is a round section of diameter 100, round section of diameter 100. Again ISSQ 50 means it is a square section of each side 50 mm, ISSQ 50 means this is a square section of 15, 50 mm. So, this is how it is designated. Then rolled steel seat and strips are also used, those are also available Indian, Indian standard steel seat section, Indian standard steel seat section and Indian standard steel strip section. Okay. So, if uh, actually if we write 50 ft that means a flat of 50 meter 50 millimeter width and 8 mm thickness are used. So, this is how letter f uh, means width and uh, uh, sorry uh, this thickness and width are defined in this way 50 f 8. Then square hollow section this also uh, are used. So, this square hollow section and hollow um, pipe sections are also used in design of steel members. So, in this first lecture oh, what we could see is that Indian uh, rolled sections are available, steel rolled sections are available uh, and its geometrical properties are given in SP6 which will be frequently used for design of uh, structural members. right? So, uh, with this I like to conclude today's lecture, next day we will discuss about the uh, material properties of the steel and its advantages and other details. Thank you.